Hello everyone, <laughs> welcome to another Sunday Live in the Kitchen with me Paul and me Jason, collectively Those, those Vegan, vegan guys. guys. Um, you all know that. You course. all know that. Today we're making the soup of some borscht. Do you want to explain to people how, how this link... Well, no, what I would like to see is whether anyone gets it. Ah. Uh, before I reveal where that name comes from, I would like to see... Um, yeah, if uh, Would you like to say it again, it. just really clearly? La supus of borscht. There you go. It's a play on something that's, you know... It's a play on something. It's a play on something. Uh, so, yeah, well, t t today we're making borscht for the very first time. Oh, <laughs> oh. And maybe some of you know what where that comes from. That's a random if one. You, if you don't, it was a lovely young Welsh lad who was in... Uh, Big Brother UK many years ago called Glenn and he cooked an egg for the very first time <laughs> and he, he made a song and it stuck with us for years uh, cooking an egg for the very first time uh, ooh, uh, ooh. and he did cook an egg and and that was a good thing for him at the time because it was the first thing he'd ever done but now of course me looking back I'm like mm, it was an egg cooking Bosch for the very first time oh uh, mm. <laughs> Um, quick shout out to everybody in the house. We've got 40 already in the house. I said to Paul, Paul before, I took my eye away for a second. I came back and there was like 25. And there was like seven prior to that. And it does usually ramp up very quickly. So before it does, uh, in, if it does, I want to just give a quick shout out to those that were here bright and early, as I often do. Us three vegans, Anger Adds Life, Ashley, of course, one of our wonderful mods, uh, who we had the pleasure of meeting face to face. On Friday. On Friday at Purezza. In Manchester. And if you haven't seen that video, you must check it out after this one. Yes. Because um, we met three of our gorgeous subscribers. Ash, it was all Ash's idea because she'll come in Manchester for a tattoo. She said, hey, lad, she fancy me for a coffee. Next thing we know, Ollie jumps on board and says, oh, let's go pure Pure Uh And then Melissa said, ah, if we opened it out, and said, well, we might as well open it out. And then Melissa came. So Ashley, Melissa, and Ollie, we met them all. And it was lovely. It was, it, it? it was lovely. And it made me realise some things, actually, um, about um, social, how much I've missed socialising. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And how much, although we hug every day, hugs from other people, you forget how much they're needed. It's important, isn't it? Oh. Uh, I'll finish my shout-outs. Um, Sorry. <laughs> Kelly uh, was here bright and early. Flanny. Uh, we've got our other mods, of course. Kelly, uh, glad you've you've been able to make it. I'm glad you're here, of course. Uh, our mods, hopefully, it won't be too busy today and they can just enjoy the live stream. Um, Daljeet, Joan, Denise, and, of course, Lauren, the Hermit Slumber. Oh, hello, Lauren. Hello. I've seen you. Now, now Lauren has had a break from modding, so she's not necessarily here as a mod. Yes. Um, but she'll always have that spanner. <laughs> she'll always have that spanner there, just in case. Um, so yeah, welcome one and all. Um, those that have just joined us, Muddy, Paws, Angie, Richard, um, welcome. Um, hey, Tom, yeah. Hello, darling. Of course, yes. Um, oh. it's uh, it's been horrible here um, weather-wise. Angie's got horrendous buffering. Oh. How how is everyone else doing? Picture-wise, is everybody okay? Can everybody see us and hear us? Okay, we take it for granted often. Um, because we've got a pretty stable internet connection. Spanner for a spanner. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for joining us, Alison. Hello from Malta. Oh, do you know, Malta's a, a, a place I really want to go to. At, um, at one point, I didn't want to. I'll be honest with you, because I know it's very uh, religious and because we're a gay couple and um, they don't often go hand in hand, although religion is meant to be loving and accepting, right, blah, blah, blah. And then I heard that Malta was one of the first countries to legalise uh, gay marriage. Mm -hmm. And I was like, ah, look at you, Malta, being all progressive. My mother loves Malta. I think I don't think she'll necessarily go abroad again in her lifetime. That's her words. Yeah. But I think if she could, it would be Malta. Mm -hmm. She would go to. She absolutely loves it. Um, most people, um, thank you everyone for just confirming uh, all's good on your end and that you can see us and hear us okay. That's always good to know. Appreciated, uh, Ashley, Kelly, Amber, uh, Kat. Yeah. Uh, it, everyone. Thank it, you. IT crowd. 
Close it and open it again. Have you tried switching it on and back off again? On, off and back on again. So, uh, the reason for coming up with um, Borscht, by the way, the wanting to make Borscht. Um, as you know, I've, I've been on this kind of... Uh, I'm really in love with um, what is commonly known as peasant food. Um, from all over the world, how... Uh, Poor people. Yeah, Lisa, <laughs> our member for 17 months, our oh, sweetheart. Thank 17 you so months. much for all your support. Thank That's you. That's just incredible. Thank you, Lisa. 17 months. You're a legend. Wow. Yeah, thank you. So we've been on this journey, um, finding out, you know, what, what do, in times of... Um, tight belts. In times of strife and, 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 and struggle. What have poorer people eaten throughout the world? And and that's how I happened upon Spanish uh, chickpea and potato stew, which we've had this week. You'll see on Tuesday's meal vlog. Um, and kind of our variation on that. That's how we ended up making the ribolita, which is the Tuscan bread soup that we did on a, a few lives ago. That was absolutely God, it was such a good soup. It really was, and it's the same with this one. It, it's, it's. Um, I, I think I believe borscht actually means beetroot because, of course, the main ingredient in a borscht is beetroot. There are variations, whether it be the Russian. Um, I think the Russian version has potato and salt pork in it. The Ukrainian version has neither. Of those two things, so I've, I've. This is a purely bastardized isn't a bad word, isn't it? It's when you've shoved things together. Yeah, you could also say it's an amalgamation. It's a Franken recipe. It's a Franken recipe on theme. So Halloween. I am following nobody's recipe to the letter. I've read about twelve, and I've got the kind of all right. That's in all of them. That's in all of them. the staples. Yeah, stuff. just yeah. kind of. Um, and some of them didn't have potato in, but I wanted to put, put uh, potato in. So you may have seen the um, picture that I uploaded to uh, Instagram before. And if you didn't, it was, that's my veg. So we've got beetroot, potato and cabbage. And then we've got a classic mirepoix, uh, carrot, uh, although I'm using red onion and celery to start off. The process. The process. Yeah. Uh, Muddy Paws just made a gardener's pie the size of a paddling pool. Marvellous. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> well, I've just started making all our own recipes again. It's like this week we've had a fabulous scrambled tofu mm -hmm. meal. It was beautiful. Though, it really it? was, yeah. Uh, we've had a pasta with a creamy sauce. Uh, Which I took for lunch the day after. Yes, that's, and I had. Yes, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The day after. I've uh, done a Spanish chickpea stew. Um, there'll be a gap, of course, in the meals vlog because we haven't had pizza, but we'll put some in there to make that clear. We'll figure something out. Yeah, we'll pop a little teaser in there and then encourage people to go and watch the ten and a half minute Purezza vlog, short and sweet and snappy and to the point. And it was lovely, as we said right at the start. A quick shout out to uh, Tattooed Vegan Mum, uh, Rainbow Vegans Rock, uh, Sue, Bangkok Karen, uh, thank you for joining us. And if you're enjoying the live stream, or if you always enjoy our live streams and you may have been maybe just have forgotten, please do consider popping out of the comments for a second. Uh, give the live stream a thumbs up so we can try and match the thumbs up to the people in the house. Um, not only does it make my heart very happy, but it also helps the YouTube algorithms and gets more people to it see really our does. content. Sue Bean, does your sister watch us? Does Kathy watch us? Yeah, that's that would. Sue Bean says to say hi, Kathy in the UK. Hi, Kathy in the UK. Kathy might not even watch us. But Sue Bean's from America. I, I'm assuming that Sue Bean uh, assumes that Kathy watches us. So, yes, absolutely, she does. Sue Bean ah, says. So this is my um, this is my uh, Franken recipe book. Uh, so I've written down my kind of. Uh, I got all my veg preps. I'll show you that. Do you want me to grab stuff? Yeah, passes the yep. passes the bits out. Bits and things. Okay. So here we have um, three beetroots, two from the allotment, one not. 
one potato from the allotment, small cubes, and some shredded white cabbage. That's all that veg prep. That's the second stuff to go in. And then, as I said, we've got the classic mirepoix, celery, carrot, and uh, onion, which is how I'm going to start it off. Um, and the garlic goes in after. So let's get our little cooker out, brothers, and start this here process. I hear a wall. I never felt so low. Can you tell what we were listening to before we started doing the live? So low. Like a waterfall. You'll, you'll get us a copyright strike. What? Is that what? Does it want to go on now? Yeah. Not on full though. No, yeah, put it up. So oh, it takes a minute for the panty. And I want a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. So, little boring back background information. Um, it's took us this long to learn that when we're cooking right here, where you can see it, I'm going to get a little towel and just pop it over the keyboard on the laptop so it doesn't get all splashy. Like that. So I'm going to heat up the oil and then I'm going to put the maple in. Um... Hmm. Oh, thanks for commenting, everyone. That's great. Little bit of clarification on Sue Bean and Catherine. Catherine's commented as well. Uh, Catherine ah, Catherine! Is Sue Bean's sister. Well, Hello, Catherine. Catherine. Hello, darling. Happy Halloween, by the way, to everybody that enjoys it, celebrates or it. Or Samhain. Or Samhain, yeah. Yeah. Uh, all of that. We've not gone for a particular Halloween theme today. We're not really in the spirit of it this well, year. Well, that's kind of where I got the title from. Has anyone got that, by the way? Repeat it. Lambis. Right, I decided to come up with the title La Supus of Borscht. If Will and Chris were here, they'd get it straight Does away. Does anybody know what what I played with there? <laughs> I'm going to throw my mirepoix in. Mirepoix. Soup. Mirepoix. Oh, thank you, Jane. That's lovely. Jane says, can I just say how much I want to meet you? So much love you both, Jane. Thank you, Jane. We will be having a meet-up next year. We were talking we're about it on few. Friday. Yeah. And we'll be doing a bit more travelling, hopefully, next year to different places. So hopefully there'll be more opportunities in 2022 to connect with uh, this wonderful community. And also thank you to everybody for the thumbs up as well. Thank you. There we go. My mid We're going to just... Soften that a little bit. Uh, I did all of this with the with the glove on with my mandolin. <laughs> nice. Oh, that's show you. It's, it's such a beautiful smell. I'm just going to cook all this for a few minutes. I might need to put the kettle on actually to make the stock. Yeah? Yeah. Um, what we're going to end up doing, by the way, we're going to end up transferring this into a bigger pan. Um, I can't really make the soup in this, but this is the perfect pan for starting all the, the you know, sautéing off, yes. if you like. Put kettle on, Carrie. <laughs> Mmm, smells lovely already. Simple things, doing their thing in a pan. Oh, no way. We, we're not competing with Craig, are we? Most of the love of music. Craig, no way, no way Craig is doing a cooking live stream right now too, lol. Well, he knows we do ours every third Sunday. Ours is a mainstay. Ours is a consistent mainstay. Oh, we love Craig. Paul did an interview with him last year, was it? Was. Yeah, it's on, on the channel. channel. Such a lovely guy with such a lovely family. We had a smashing chat. Yeah, it? really nice. Very, very talented uh, photographer as well. And videographer. Oh, uh, part of the carrot is from Plot 25 as well. So carrot, beetroot and potato all from Plot 25. We'll be going in the soup. Nice. That's kind of nice. That's kind of nice. Uh, Sue says, how did you cope with the time change? We just had a moment, we had a moment before we went to bed last night where we were like, right, what's going on? What, what do we have to do now? When, did, when, did we, when are we supposed to change it? Turned out it was two o'clock in the morning. 
But of course, our phones change automatically. So we just have to get up and change the kitchen and the front room clock. Simple. All good? Hmm. Nice. Yeah. Right. <laughs> oh, I'll, I'll try and grab this. I'll try and get this. So I'm going to add the uh, hardest things first. And that would be the potato and the beetroot. And we'll leave the cabbage to last. I just want these to start. Um, softening. And there's the star of the show, of course, the beetroot. Look, if you bits of cabbage can't wait, you want to go in there now, you do that. Yeah? Run along, but all the beetroot has to go in. And all the potato. Is that on his eyes? It'll go back. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Yes, it is. It's up to full power. Our little, uh, our little camping hob here. Right. I'm going to use one now vegan box of vegetable hot dog food. And I'm going to use oh, it's the last one of these. What is I'm it? so glad I got these, by the way. If you get the chance, get them. Kalo, uh, organic umami. So it's like tomato, mushroom, and onion. Heavy flavours. I've used them all. They're marvellous. <laughs> Keep staring at that, Jeff. This looks gorgeous. all coming together all coming together do i need to turn it down a bit or do i just need to keep it moving uh is it is it fine yeah can we sit yeah. for a minute as well because i keep thinking it's a bit no don't yeah. turn it down keep it off it okay. needs, needs to be on high we'll just keep cooking it through no um, one's got your uh, i don't think anybody's got your reference yet for the title that's nobody got it the supers of Bosch. So we've got no Star Trek fans in the house. <laughs> no, apparently not. Like I said, if uh, Chris and Will, if Chris and Will were here, I reckon they would have got it straight away. Yeah, but it's wrecking actually. Your arm. It will. It will. We do though, don't we? They do though, don't they though? They do do that though, don't they though? <laughs> Flanny says, tell you what guys, decaf don't half taste much better out of our sparkling new TVG mugs. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's fabulous. Glad to hear it. You know, I forget 
Well, I don't forget them, it's just... I could, I could sit and eat that once it was all cut yeah. through with a chunk of bread. Yeah, yeah, totally. That's an interesting question, actually. Whilst this is just doing, we're okay answering one or two, aren't we? Yeah. Uh, Muddy says, uh, have you any idea how much you've saved on veggies now you have the allotment? Uh, no, because we didn't really... We've not calculated it, have we? No, but when you think about it, for a couple of months we didn't buy any salad or spinach at all. For about six weeks we didn't buy any tomatoes. For about two and a half months we didn't buy any onions, because we were using them all from down there. Didn't buy any courgettes. For a couple of weeks, we didn't have to buy berries. Yeah. Uh, and still we've, using potatoes. We've still got carrots and beetroots and parsnips and sprouts and kale all there ready to kind of harvest. By the way, there is no allotment vlog this week. We're thinking just for the interim, if there's anything important we're doing, we'll vlog it. Yeah. Uh, but there's not much to do there at the moment. Um so we'll do something next week and we'll announce properly when we've talked about it more what we plan moving forward but yeah. it will probably be very quiet on the allotment front until until january yeah 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 just so you're aware you know we always want to give you allotment vlogs that have got stuff going on and it's all right because I'll, no. I'll just do more kitchen vlogs they seem to uh, they really seem to piss the trolls off and I'm all about that I'm not actually, I'm all about trying to make the world a better place it's just that that's what happens to piss trolls off randomly oh, Craft Lover 9 says yay, finally caught you live my husband was Ukrainian and loved Bosch oh nice nice one and thank you for being here Craft Lover 9 just had a weekend in Blackpool to celebrate best day in the cup ah, uh, a couple of people have got it by the way Leanne I think got it and uh, Bridgie got it as well. Locutus of Borg. Well yes, done. Yes, well you. done. So yes, Borg, Halloween, because they're quite horrible. And they assimilate you and everything. A lot of people dress up as them. So I thought we would call this, because when the Borg got Captain Picard, he was called Locutus of Borg. And I was like, I'm having that. Locutus of Borg. There you go. It's reaching, but it's it works. Uh, Metal Kicks Ass says, are y'all going to the Chinese store anytime soon? Because I love those shopping halls. Yeah, we were supposed to go this weekend. And then uh, the opportunity to meet three wonderful people came up and eat in that place in Manchester. Um, so we're kind of like, you know, I'm sure we all have a, a weekly budget. That's this week's budget gone. Um so next week we can do a shop because we need to do one anyway we just couldn't i didn't want to do both this week because it kind of i like to spread out the things we enjoy you know what i mean yeah um but it's made me realize i want to go out more i want to socialize more i want to meet people more I want more goddamn hugs well that's not how you're going to get them so that kind of uh loudness abrasiveness it is how are we doing here uh garlic garlic ready for the garlic excellent this i did this this was my contribution to today he missed the garlic for me i see so i've actually got five cloves there i want uh i want a good amount in there five lovely cloves of garlic Let that get naturally softened. Do you like my blouse? It's available in our merch store. <laughs> my design and fabulous Pee Wee Baggins artwork. It's rather popular, your design, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Well, your design with uh, Pee Wee Baggins' interpretation yeah. and creation of. Uh, Ashley says, I'll give you more hugs, Paul. And you, Jace. Thank you. Thank you. And Angrad, Angrad's Life says, don't worry, I have loads of hugs for you both. <laughs> Thank you. We do love hugs. We do. Oh, it smells gorgeous. It just got, already it smells gorgeous. It really does. Yeah. Right, and now I'm going to add my shredded white cabbage. Of 
course, everything is going to go being blue coloured. That's the that's the point of both, I suppose. Just thought to give you as a little look here, so you can see properly. You know. There's not much more to do with that actually. It's basically now we have tomato paste and veg stock uh, and cook for about 20 minutes and then it's done. And you can serve it with vegan yogurt or uh, oh, and fresh dill as well. Uh, vegan yogurt <laughs> or cashew cream. But I thought wouldn't it be gorgeous to mix a bit of fresh dill in with your vegan yogurt and then put a blob. Oh. Nice. Yeah, um, somebody's made a very interesting comment, uh, which made me chuckle slightly. Uh, very brave, Carla says, wearing a lovely white sweater whilst cooking beetroot. Where's your pinny? I know. I ain't got a pinny. You've done remarkably well. There's one little bit there. Can you see it? Gone. Unbelievable. I hit a wall. I never felt so low. Metal Kicks Ass says, I just made being vegan one year and can't wait for the January vegan month. Yes, the January is always very popular. And congratulations on uh, on one year being vegan. That's awesome. Well done. <laughs> it's quite a few people now that are worried about your white top, Paul. I'm going to add a splash of the veg stock now, so this can steam fry rather than adding more oil. Um, what bit of tomato puree, I might actually add it directly into the stock. Tomato puree, sir? Yeah. Rather than adding to the pan, I'm going to add it to the stock and then just add it. Mm. <laughs> Hello, Scarlet. Hello, Claire. Claire says, I wish smell -o vision was actually a thing. Looks gorgeous. I know we've all been talking about it for years, haven't we? I'm astonished that they've not made it an actual real thing yet. 2021, come on. Where's the smell -o vision Optional, of course. I'm sure there's certain things, you know, you might be watching stuff on TV, you might not want to smell it. Right, because this other pot pan is much taller. But it, oh, that looks like a really good shot. My hand looks right, like it's 3D. Yeah, yeah. I think it's the light and the position of where the camera is. I'm Touch sorry. me! <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I'm have to go around there. Yeah. Oh, big pan time. Uh, yes. Can you reach? Yeah. Oh. Hi, Kirsty. Thanks for being here. So this is my big pan. What I usually cut me. Look at that. She's so old, bless her. But she's all right inside, and that's what matters. I'm, going, I'm now going to transfer it over to the cooker. Because... Just one second before you do. Just for those few people that have just drifted in and just arrived, just going to show you quickly before it transfers to the big pan. We basically started with a mirepoix, carrot, celery, and onion. Then we added potato and beetroot cubes uh, and cabbage and garlic and now it's going in the big pan to actually become a soup. So there you go. <clears throat> Quick shout out and sending much love uh, to mum and dad, uh, Auntie Pearl and the rest of the family. Mum and dad always uh, try their best to tune in uh, to our lives. Um, much love. See you tomorrow. 
then I'm just going to add the stock. Tomato puree and two stock cubes. It's actually doing a bit more water in there, to be honest. Yeah? Yeah. <clears throat> Thank you, Ashley. <laughs> Ear front says, hello, V guys. It's very good to see you uh, making yummy borscht. Paul needs a vapor. Apron. Yes, a couple of people have said that, although he has done remarkably well, it has to, has to be said. Remarkably well, with the um, lack of splashage. I don't, uh, Metal Kicks ass. I don't think we've tried any, any Hershey's vegan chocolate, to be honest. And, and I would imagine it'd be quite difficult to get over here in, uh, in England. Not impossible, but probably quite difficult to get hold of. I think. Hmm. I'm just chopping some fresh dill. Yeah, well, I'm cooking over here. Yeah. Can you swap sides. Yeah, maybe? yeah, yeah. Yeah, I can do that. Off now, I'm done with it. Okay. I was just reading comments. I'm not good at multitasking. Right, so that's turned off for now and say. Uh, Emma is watching us from Italy. My husband recently made borscht, but it wasn't as good as his range of vegan pasta dishes. We love your work. You exude kindness. Well, thank you, Emma. That's really nice. Thank you. And thank you for commenting and being part of the community. <laughs> oh, Ashley says, oh, always send a love to Joan as well. Queen Joan. Yes, indeed. Twenty twenty, Bridget. I love soup and I love beetroot, so I think that borscht will be going into my repertoire. It's funny, actually. You know, I said to Paul earlier, I was, I was kind of joking a little bit, but I was like, I hope I like this because I've never had it before, so I've, I've no idea. But you've got to assume it's going to be tasty, haven't you? Really? I'm adding some salt and pepper now, so obviously to taste. Oh, that's an interesting question from Yellow Sunflower Annie. What is your favourite plant-based chocolate? Um, just lately, Dirty Cow. Yeah, the Dirty Cow stuff is incredible. Um, we were very, very lucky lads in being gifted some recently. Um, I am right in saying it was from Ashley, aren't I? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Ashley. Um it's gorgeous. Our go-to prior to that had always been the Vigo bar, uh, chocolate bar. But uh, yeah, this this stuff is next level. Quite a bit of deal, actually. Oh, that's another interesting one. Um, Health Arena. Is Paul going to have a go at making kombucha? Is that something that uh, you, you've thought about, mister? Yeah, probably next year, though. It's um, quite a process, isn't it? Because I've, I've only just kind of mastered pickling and kimchi. Uh, and I still haven't made any more kimchi yet. And I've got some frozen kimchi paste that I made in the freezer. Oh, you have, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so it's just, you know, prioritising. Definitely. I can't take you over there, unfortunately, because the camera isn't long enough to reach. So you'll just have to wait and see. Um, but uh, yeah, because I am always mindful of that. I like to try and show you what's going on as best as we can. Uh, 
uh, whilst Paul is doing that in the background. Yes, yeah, you go around the back and bring the camera over. And I shall bring the pots over for a second so that you can see where it's at now. So that's where it's at at the moment. Nice. Nice. Go. Uh, somebody asked about Squid Game before. Uh, yes, Metal Kicks asks, have you seen the Squid Game and what are your thoughts on it? Yeah, we thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, I wouldn't say we smashed, well, no, we kind of did smash through it. I think we smashed through it in about a week. Um, so we didn't sort of watch it back to back. Oh, my God. But we went through it and we both really enjoyed it. Uh, in the same way that we enjoyed, even though it's different, uh, Alice in Borderlands, we thoroughly enjoyed that as well. Great, great series, both of them. Are you just snaffling, snaffling in the background there, trying it? I just wanted to try the actual like broth. Careful, careful. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, yeah, gorgeous. That's really nice. And for some reason, I thought it was going to be sweeter than that. But I suppose it's all about the ratios, isn't it? It's right. all about the ratios. I'm now going to put the lid on. It's boiling, so I'm going to simmer it for about 20 minutes. And then we can have a look at the finished um, product. But while I'm sat here, you know, sat sitting like one of Lipton's, I'm going to make the, um, I'm going to make the uh, topping for it. So I don't know if all you guys know yet, but Sainsbury's have actually started to do their own uh, plain soya yoghurt. Uh, for a pound, which I think is great. <clears throat> yeah, it is totally. <clears throat> I think we've said it in uh, we've said it in some of our shopping vlogs before. I think it's really good um, that the supermarkets are getting on board and doing their own brand stuff. Um, and certainly with Sainsbury's and Tesco, I think I'm pretty confident to say a lot of their stuff is really, really good, isn't it? Yeah. You know, as opposed to obviously the big brand stuff as well. You know. Might be able to just bring that down a tiny bit. There we go. So apparently, this is it's often served with um, some kind of yogurt or cream. So it's recommended to serve with um, with uh, vegan uh, yogurt uh, or cashew cream. Uh, and then they say, and also add a few sprinkles of dill on top of the yoghurt, on top of the soup, and I thought, why don't I just put dill in the yoghurt can? Do you know what I mean? Instead of all the toffing about. I just make it into a dill yoghurt, and then blob that on the soup. <sighs> Try and save you guys time, Andy. I get you. I get you. In a similar way to putting stuff in pastry. When we put stuff, putting stuff on pastry, herbage, when you're doing like, um, you know, the plat and stuff like that, similar kind of thing, incorporating it. Yes. Uh, Claire says, did you guys hear that delegates at the COP26 will be served an entirely plant-based menu? I think this is great. I had heard that. Yeah, um, I think that is a good thing. It's a shame uh, that they've been going for nearly 30 years and they still haven't really done anything much in my humble opinion uh in terms of tackling climate change it's because the world is money obsessed the, the people in power are obsessed with money and not with the earth that yeah what's that only when we've dug up the last tree will we remember you can't eat money is that that's the saying isn't it something like that yeah i think so hmm <laughs> Uh, actually, funnily enough, a couple of people have asked us um, about are we doing anything for Halloween. We we don't massively, even though we were talking about this just the other day, even though horror is probably one of our favourite genres in terms of like um, films and stuff, yeah. um, we don't sort of massively do Halloween here. Um, and I think, to be honest, if we lived somewhere where the sort of the whole kind of community celebrated it and it was a bit, bit more of a big deal, I think we, we would most definitely get into the spirit um of it all because we're both really into horror aren't we mm. but it's just not something you know we don't really get 
trick-or-treaters knocking on the door. People don't really decorate the houses. You might have like 40 houses and maybe two that have sort of got a bit of something outside. I've or been whatever. to one Halloween party in our lifetimes and that was... Uh... The videoing one, wasn't videoing, it? Yeah. It was a good party, though, to be fair. It was. It was a good party. I dressed as Lizard Man. It was great. Did my own makeup and everything. Lizard Man Doctor. Well, yeah, Lizard Man kind of was. Oh, weren't you? He wore the white coat and had the stethoscope. And then sort of half lizard face and one contact lens. Yeah. That's what I mean. I mean it's not like we, we, you know, we would want to, uh, if the opportunities presented themselves and we'd, uh, we'd kind of get into it. Then definitely. Who knows what 2022 will bring? Who knows the secrets of black magic? Because I think, um, I actually think, and I said this the other day as well, I think prior to uh, Shmirona um I think Halloween was becoming a bit more of a, of a big deal here in the UK and people were kind of starting to celebrate it more. Um, but then for the last two years, people haven't really been able to kind of socialise, knock on people's doors, receive... Uh, sweet candy goods in the uh, in the traditional way. So yeah, who knows what next year will bring? All good. Yeah, it's chucking it down outside again. We woke up to a terrible storm this morning. Our uh, growing tent out in the garden was halfway down the garden, upside down. Our chairs are blown halfway down the garden. Oh, it were horrible. Horrible, it were. Dill yogurt. Dill yogurt. Most of the love of music uh, says, had the Plant Pioneers fish cakes for lunch. So good. The entire Plant Pioneers range is very good. Could not agree more. Oh, did you have those posh ones that we've been having? Yeah, with the, the, uh, the, two, the two round ones that you get. Have you seen the tent, by the way? Has it blown away again? It's on the car. Oh my goodness! Our our growing tent outside in the in the back garden is is half on the car. I'm gonna have to run out afterwards and sort it. Anyway, you don't need to worry about that. Um, have a taste of this. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Fresh dill and plain yogurt, who knew? Do you know what else that goes really well with? Nice. The roasted sweet potato one, but on a squash soup. Yeah. Blob of that in the middle of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, to just cut through the sweet, because that's very sweet. Oh, yeah, Angie, I think I saw the picture that you posted on Facebook of the, uh, the downed tree. Yeah. We had a storm um, a few years ago uh, when we lived in a different house. And the tree came down and it was about a foot away from our front door. Um, yeah, that was quite scary. We were very lucky. Yeah, lots of people are getting the stormy weather at the moment. Lots of people. Don't know why there's no sun up in the sky. Stormy weather. Say it, I'll sing it. Claire says, I live in a top floor flat, so I never get any trick-or-treaters. How dare they? As it means I have to eat all the sweeties myself. Those kids. Those kids. You know, you get your sweets in every year thinking that you're going to get trick-or-treaters. And then lo and behold, you've got to eat all those sweets to yourself. Now, let's chat about uh, the channel for a minute or two. Because for those of you that don't know... Uh, who want to support our work on this channel. Well, I've got some news about uh, job applications as well, remind me. Um, who want to support us on this channel, you can do from as little as a pound a month over on our Patreon. You can become a patron. Uh, but nobody expects anything from us over there, which is lovely. They just do it to, to support us. Yeah, that's awesome. Which is incredible. Channel memberships will give you access to... Um, of course, and being a patron will be, give you access to having your name on screen at the end and to the use of special emojis, emojis and, of course, your name in a fancy colour. In a fancy colour. And you will marvellously help us out. And, of course, buying our merch. Yes. From our, our merch store at Teespring. You can buy this one. 
You can buy this one. Be excellent to yourself and each other. Yes, and there are others, and there will be more coming next year. But, you know, the festive period is round the corner. It's, it's a time of giving and receiving. So perhaps you want to check out our merch. Maybe not necessarily for yourself. Maybe for a friend or family member. Who knows? It's a bit joey, that. It's was that time of giving, giving and practicing and receiving? <laughs> yeah. yeah, there was a lot of when giving it, and receiving when he was practicing <laughs> during the wedding ceremony. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, do you have Disney Plus? We do. And if you do, are you going to be watching the Beatles documentary coming out in November? Oh, I yeah, I heard very something about likely, this. Highly likely. I think it's uh, I think it's penned to be. Just, I think it's supposed to be excellent. So, but to be honest, anything to do with the Beatles, we're both quite into. So, yeah, I probably wouldn't be playing guitar today if it weren't for the Beatles. So, yeah, definitely. Uh, Sue says, What Christmas recipes have you got planned? Uh, well, I'm doing someone else's recipe actually very soon. Um, a cat from over at 86 Eats, mm -hmm. fantastic website, she does incredible work. Um, and not too long ago on this channel, we did a uh, deli style beef roast on one of our Sunday lives, which is the main ingredients are tofu and vital wheat gluten. Um, and she's also done like a turkey version, a deli style roast turkey. And I thought, ooh, having that on Christmas Day, instead of like paying 12 quid for a tofu or whatever, you know. Having that and then having some leftover for sandwiches might be ideal. So I'm going to, if it's anything like the beef, it's going to be epic. I think it will be epic. Uh, yeah. yeah. So I'm going to be doing that um, on the lead up to Christmas. We've already got the festive plat recipe. Uh, we've got the original uh, and then we remade it in 2019 mm -hmm. uh, for a newer audience. That's on the channel. We've got the Baileys. We've got festive brownie got all sorts of mince pies i did some from scratch mince pies last year including making the pastry yeah oh she's a girl with talent all all sorts all sorts you know it's uh we're busy we've been busy lads on the channel for for quite a while now and there's uh there's quite the back catalogue uh lots of festive stuff lots of veganuary stuff but of course more to come um uh, because as paul has said in uh i think the la our last live um, we will be doing Vlogmas, won't we? Yes. We'll be doing Vlogmas on the run-up to Christmas. Which is vlogging every day from December 1st to the 25th, and it will culminate in the 25th as we, uh, and hopefully some of you will join us as we have our Christmas dinner. It's kind of like a TVG advent calendar, if you will. Yes. And then, of course, we'll be doing shed loads of content for Veganuary. To help all those folk out there that are uh, they're going to be joining the wonderful world of vegan. Yeah. And we'll be helping them along on their journey as well, which will be awesome. Um, I'm sure, you know, Flanny's question here, I'm sure we've had something similar to this, but I can't remember where from. Does anyone know if there is a vegan crispy pancake, Finder style, one of the things we miss from bygone days? I'm sure we've had something that's similar to like a Finder's... We haven't had a crispy pancake mm. style of anything. Is I remember because I used to love them when I was a kid. Yeah, maybe I'm getting it confused with just a certain type of pasty. Or I'm sure you could. I'm sure you could. Um... How could you do that? Oh, uh, Kelly's just said um, a channel called Lindsay's Vegan Life did a recipe for Finder style crispy pancakes. She's on Instagram too. Oh, Lindsay's. I've, I've done a chat with Lindsay's on this very channel. It's part of my Vegan Village series. Vegan Village Voices. Nice one, Kelly. Oh, that's interesting, actually. I might attempt some brownies or cookies using the Tesco after-dinner mints. I, I've thought about... Ooh. I'm not just saying that. I've actually thought about crushing after-dinner mints into the brownie mix and then cooking it. Mm. It'd be filthy, but it's Christmas. We could talk about it now, can't we? Because it's Halloween. It's like Halloween's done now. Well, technically... We went in the supermarket today and all the Halloween stuff was gone. Christmas I was, signs I going I was going to get something to hang up at the back. And I was like, it, it's actually Halloween. Why are you, Why is it all Christmas stuff now? 
is actually Halloween right now. That's consumerism for you and marketing. That's what that is. Uh, Anger Ads Life says, we will be joining you on Christmas Day. Loved it last year. Oh, nice one. Excellent, excellent stuff. Christmas is the time for film. <laughs> you know, very right. So true. So very true. What's going on at the back? Is it just doing its thing, simmering away? Yeah, have a check. I will. Have a look. See what you think. Oh, it's lovely. I think, you know what? I think it's got quite a distinctive smell to it. It's really nice. Dill, it'll, that, that'll be the dill and the beetroot, because they're both quite distinctive smells. Yes. So, yeah. Oh, nearly burnt my face off with that steam then. Uh. Oh, thank you, Kelly. Paul, tell us about your job application. Oh, right. So, yes, I've applied for a job. Um, I won't say too much. I'll just say it's at a vegan cafe as a cafe worker. It's the first job, like, you know, like proper job that I've applied for. Oh, jeez. Storming in. Storming out there. Two and a half years. Yes. Yes. Almost three years. But I feel like I'm not only ready to get back out into the workforce now. Um, I, I I need to for me. So if I don't get this job, I will apply for more work. But I can't be working in bars anymore. Uh, we've talked about it. Jason does not want me working nights anymore. Uh, I'm not particularly keen on working nights. We've been through something like the aura. And it was at night. Well, it's not just that. No, but it is that. That's me. a big part of it. But it's also just, and I know there's lots of people in the world who have no choice but to do this. But rather selfishly, I've said, I don't want to be coming home from work at like half five, six o'clock at night. And Paul's just going out to do, you know, a bar shift somewhere. We would literally never see each other. It would massively impact on the channel, on content creation and putting out the content as regularly as we do. Yeah, I don't ever want to compromise what we do on this YouTube channel. It's just that I need to get a job because we're, we're not really thriving. We're, we're surviving. Yes. And I'd rather to thrive. To thrive, of course, yes. Definitely. So, yeah, we'll see. Yeah, I spent about like four hours on Thursday going through my previous employment history which I've not touched for like two years. So my last job wasn't on there yet. Um, it was, it was, it was quite a thing. I'm not going to lie about it and say, oh, it was nothing. It was, it was like, it was, a, it was a real thing to get me to do that, to write it down, mm. you know? Yeah. Um, so I've sorted out all my skills and qualifications, documentation, my previous employment, ready for applying for that job. And more jobs, because, you know, you never know. All of his knowledge, all of his skills, and all of his experience. All that stuff. Oh, it's daunting it. doing it, but it's also empowering doing it. Mm -hmm. Because it serves as a reminder, often, for people, and I'm sure many of us will recognise this. You see stuff and you're reminded and you're like, oh yeah, that's me. On paper, sometimes it can be quite powerful to just be reminded of yeah, yeah, yeah. who you are, what you've done, what you've achieved, all your training, all your experiences. It's, it's, it's a good thing. You okay there? Yeah, yeah. Well, I went off, you know. Nobody's got me down yet. <laughs> that was unbelievable. Oh, you haven't, have you? No, some just flashed out and it didn't go on me. That's what I'm saying. That was unbelievable. Another splash avoided. Uh, um... I think this is done, you know. Do you think it's done? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It smells so absolutely incredible. <laughs> Mostly love of music, Paul. Would the vegan cafe employ you if they got lots of free publicity on the channel? Wink. <laughs> well, you never know. You never know. Fingers crossed and thank you. Lots of people have... Uh, well wishes and wishing you good luck, Paul, and everything. Oh, that's a good question, Julie. When do we put our tree up? It's usually sometime in December, isn't it? Obviously, we're not we're not a pre we're not a pre December Christmas tree household in this uh, in this house. No, 
So it would probably be somewhere in the first week of December on average, but we don't have a specific date. <laughs> it's pure luck. The, 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 the lack of splashing on the white jumper is quite miraculous, to be honest. It really is. Thank you, Flanny. Deneen, 2020 Bridget, all of yous, thank you so much. And thank you all for the thumbs up as well. We've got 113 in the house and we've got 93 thumbs up. Do you want to show this? Yeah. <laughs> it's probably better. I'm coming a little bit closer. It's quite dark, isn't it? Very. Right there. There, I'll put, yeah. it, put it down. I'm going to put some... I'm just going to put a little blob of the dill yoghurt, because this is just our taster pot. Yeah. This goes back in the fridge now. Okay. And then we'll just have a taste of that with a teaspoon. I'll put that dill back in the fridge and I'll actually. Yeah. yeah. And we'll be warming this up for our dinner tonight. Boy, it would be rude to do a cooking video and not actually taste what we've just cooked. <clears throat> Got a bit of yogurt, a bit of beetroot, a bit of other veg. Yeah. It's beautiful. I love it. It's so nice. You can mix the yogurt in if you want and just kind of... Just gives it a little bit more creaminess, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, to creamize the soup. Oh, it's a, it's a very unique flavour, but it's absolutely delicious. The dill absolutely comes through the beetroot absolutely comes through the it's quite complex actually mm. i know what you mean i know what you mean it's all it's all there it's all present and it is it's quite it's quite unique quite quite unusual but really tasty very tasty can i have them <laughs> mm. and that with what's going on outside at the moment, honestly, Big piece of potato there. that's perfect for a dark, stormy Sunday with a big wad of bread to shove in it. Can't go wrong. Cannot go wrong. It was beautiful. So once again, absolutely, I will make this again. Once again, it's been proven. It's it's a it's a classic, consistent scenario now. With the Ribolita, with the Spanish chickpea stew, with this, taking those classic peasant dishes from around the world, veganising them if they need to be veganised, although a lot of the time, obviously, they don't. Paul, you've done a few now. They've all been top-notch, haven't they? Mm -hmm. Absolutely top-notch. Yeah, really, really good. Mm. Oh, Judith says, uh, wow, it looks incredible. It tastes fantastic, honestly. It's so good. Um, have had this dish in Russia before the vegan days. It was lovely, but I had forgotten about it. Going to make it soon. Definitely make this, seriously. It's the perfect <clears throat> time of year for it Guys, as well. this is beautiful. Yeah. You can pick up a bunch of beetroots for a quid now in the supermarket. And carrots and taters are cheap as chips, aren't they? Oh, it's, it's, so it's like, this is an allotment soup, really, because it's predominantly stuff from the allotment. Yeah. Beetroot, potato, carrot. Yeah. Mmm. Imagine that. In a flask, on a hike, on a cold winter's day, sitting on a rock near a, near a river, and just having some. Imagine that. Yeah, because you can get those flasks now with a wide top, can't you? Like a stew flask. Yeah, thermos. It's like a thermos, isn't it? The, the wide topped ones. Oh, the, no, I think thermos is the brand, isn't it? Right, yeah, yeah. yeah. I know what you mean, though. Yeah. It's 
Sorry, did you want some more? No, no, it's okay. We've got plenty to go out there for, oh, for later on. That's great. That's good soup, that, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, that's really, really good. I'm impressed. I am. I'm impressed. So, yes, it, it, it's we've made something for the first time, and it's turned out to be really, really, really good and really nutrient-dense as well. I'm sure somebody could do the macros on that, and it'd be marvellous. Because it's, you know, it's 99% veg. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love the name Allotment Soup better. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, Kelly. That's, yeah, that's great. But, I mean, the thing is, aren't we, aren't we discovering, and I'm going to talk for a second, um, and it may sound like I know what I'm talking about, but I don't really. But I do know beetroot really versatile i know loads of you out there that use and you have as well i think if memory serves beetroot in cake very versatile no i've never done it in cake no. i usually make slow with it don't have with raw beetroot have you done brownies with beetroot no no, no. i should though but no. I, I haven't i haven't but cauliflower as well is another one incredibly versatile can be made into all kinds of different things um i love cauliflower yeah we have bought cauliflower for ages it's straight it's like a winter veg for me yeah i know what you mean like. yeah it shouldn't be. Well, I think like a lot of people, we've been having a lot of salads over the summer and then veg now and again. And But then as you transition, you kind of get more into your veggies, veggies in the winter, autumn and winter, don't we? Generally. But yeah, top notch that. I will look forward to smashing that later on. Definitely. Flanny, it's gorgeous. On a, the... Um... I mean, it was nice on its own without the yogurt, but the yogurt really makes it, and that's just a standard vegan plain yogurt um, with a bit of fresh dill chopped into it. It just really picked it up. It's beautiful. I'm, I'm looking forward to having a damn big bowl of that later on, and there's enough for you to take for lunch one day. Fabulous. Oh, so I've got, I've got, He's um, got his lunch tomorrow as well because we had Spanish chickpeas stew last night, um, and. Uh, I also made, if you follow us on Instagram, you'll already know I did a big pan of Spanish chickpeas stew. We had a big dinner. He's taking it to lunch. Um, I also did a big batch of hummus, a big batch of tuna, and I've got a little pot of um, chickpeas left over. This is all from a 500 gram bag of dried chickpeas at Tesco for £1.15. The whole lot into the instant pot topped up with, not topped up, but covered with boiling water, on for 35 minutes. Don't turn off the keep warm function, so it actually, and let it, um, let, let it depressurize naturally. It takes about 15 minutes, so it's about an hour, really. But then you've got 500 grams of um, cooked chickpeas, to make, you know, if it, let's just show the tuna on the hummus, Jay. Yeah. That's the tuna. Yeah. So this is the tuna. So what I did with this is I just put the, um, I just put the chickpeas in the food processor until they were like minced a bit, but still had a bit of texture. And then, a chopped white onion, some seaweed, you know them snack seaweed packs? Just one of them crumbled in. Um, squirt lemon juice, bit of salt, salt and pepper, mayo. So I've got that much tuna. I've been dying to taste this actually, now it's gone cold, I don't like it. Almost warm and a big pot of uh, hummus mm. as well. Yeah. Excuse our fingers, we live here. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. All from 500 grams of chick dried chickpeas. Incredible. So we'll have... Uh, we've got baked potatoes to have this week. As well, at some point anyway. Over the next few days. So we'll have two baked potatoes each done first in the microwave then in the air fryer I, I'm, I'm absolutely sure you know it's half an hour in the microwave and 45 in the air fryer anyway i i, I got it maybe i thought it was 30 and 30 but i'm not sure might be 
So we'll be having a baked potato each. One will have tuna on, one will have hummus, and then we've got them there to just for sandwiches, for snackage, whatever. Um, so, yeah, we've had quite a whole food plant-based week. We haven't entirely, but you'll see when you see the meals vlog on Tuesday. It's been very leaning that way. Mm. I've got very much back into my kitchen this week, like enjoying spending a couple of hours in the kitchen and getting a load of stuff done and then being able to stand back and go, oh, look, now we've got that, that and that. You know, it's great. I love doing that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ashley's talking about um, people, delivery people uh, in this weather. He uh, just, just got an Amazon delivery, I think, and the delivery driver was soaked. Oh. Soaked to the bone. But, yeah, it's awful, isn't it, when you've got to be out in this kind of... That's why I was sort of slightly relieved on Friday when we were going out for something to eat and it kind of dried up and brightened up a little bit because prior to that, it had been chucking it down after the day. So it was a, it was a blessing, definitely. Yes. Oh, thank you all for the uh, thumbs up, by the way, on the live stream this afternoon. Uh, we've got 103 in the house and we've got 101 thumbs up. Would two other people be able to give us a thumbs up so we can balance that scale? And it'd be nice and even. That would be incredible. Thank you. And greatly appreciated. And as I said earlier, it does help tremendously with the channel uh, and getting the, the vegan down-to-earth approach out there to more people. Thank yous all. Yes. Smashed it. Smashed oh, it. Cheers, guys. Thank you. Uh, Metal kicks ass at you. That's the second time you've posted that now. Um, if, you, if you get to know us very well, we get so many channel recommendations. We, we 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 can't spend all our time watching other people's YouTube work. Yeah. So we're very specific with who we watch because otherwise we're very busy creating our own stuff. But thank you for the recommendation. Now you don't have to write it a third time. <laughs> nice. Um, whilst uh, we are, of course, on the the day of Halloween. Uh, and before we start to wrap up our live stream, I am curious to know what you are all doing. You asked us uh, what we were doing. What are you all doing uh, this evening for Halloween? Because we'll probably just watch a horror film and have a chilled evening. Um... Halloween. Was so, yeah, just curious. Just curious. And um, we started watching that three-part horror. What's it called? We've watched the first one. Oh, I forgot about that. Uh, Fear Street. Fear Street. So we've watched the first of three of Fear Street. Which is 1994. 94. The second one is 78. The third one is 1666, which is very weird. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. We're not getting confused with Lock and Key there? No. No. Okay. Well, if there's three dates... And it started at the latest date. Yeah. Which way can it go? Can only go one way now, can No, it? it was specifically the 1666 thing. I wasn't sure. No, about. I'm sure it's right. 1666. So we've got that. We we might watch that. Right. We've just finished watching season two of Lock and Key on Netflix. Would highly recommend it. It's really entertaining. Uh, surprisingly good. We, we enjoyed season one and season two. Angie doesn't have any plans other than watching TV. Don't do horror. Not seen the new Halloween movie yet, although we will. Although I've said it before and I'll say it again. They're flogging it now with the Halloween films, aren't they? We, do, we do, Jason says every every time, take off his head. Just take <clears throat> his head off his shoulders. There won't be another Halloween Once film. Once you see him down on the floor, take his head. It's the only way. You can't trap like him. like a zombie, isn't it? You can't up? trap him in a cellar and set him on fire. You can't pin him up against a tree with a truck. You've got to take his head off. It's the only way. So we'll watch the second one of that because the second one is the one that's set at the camp. Yes, we could watch that tonight for Halloween. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Nice glass of wine, nice chill. Nice soup. Yes. Probably a, a, a white muffin to dunk in the soup. No judgment. Oh, that sounds nice, Leanne. Fire outside in our fire pit. Dinner of burgers, hot dogs, chilli, cupcakes and sweets for afters. Family coming round. Oh, God. That sounds delightful. And I'm glad it's fine down there because all day here it's been incredibly stormy. Yeah, it's been a... Uh, we, we woke up this morning, it was dreadful. Then it calmed down for a little bit and went kind of dry, didn't it? Yeah, we had a few hours where it was yeah, okay. And then it's come back with a vengeance now. It's uh, We're really getting it at the moment. So... 
Uh, Ashley, maybe a takeaway at a nightmare before Christmas because I'm a massive child. <laughs> okay, excellent. No wrong with that. Uh, Deneen, I will be eating Halloween candy in costume, listening to Halloween themed music and maybe a movie as well. Wonderful. Uh, Victoria, I have been channeling my inner child and have been setting up a window projection to scare the trick or treaters. <laughs> Excellent. Love that. Do, Love that. Do you think you'll get any, guys? I, 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 well, we definitely won't in this weather, but I, I didn't think we would anyway just because of COVID. Who knows? You know, yeah, it's, I just, but it's a tricky it's, one, isn't it? It's, it's a tricky kind of, one. It's um, spiking a bit again around here. <laughs> Leanne says we'll be indoors watching the fire lol. Uh, Leroy is heading out, ha heading, handing out metal detect, oh, heading out metal detecting. I'm getting a basket of treats ready for all the little ghosts and goblins. Fear the walking dead this evening. Tracy. Thank you, Tracy. Essence of the Celts, thanks for being here. You've caught us at the latter end, but that's okay, you're here. That's the most important thing. Oh, Angered's life. We will be posting a Halloween video soon, trying some Halloween brownies and blondies. Oh, nice. Lovely. Yes. I'm going to scroll down now. Miss Horror Geek, I would, I would tend to agree with you on that one. Uh, that's very, very true. I'm watching the Halloween films on Netflix. The best Halloween films is the original Halloween and Halloween 2. I think I would agree with that. Yeah. The first one is probably still the best, isn't it, really? Yeah. I think. Stand out. Uh, and still stands up to this day in terms of just classic horror. Let's uh, let's show the soup down now that it's had a chance to uh, cool in the pan. Yes. Um, so the steam's not going to be hitting the... Uh, the camera we can just show what the actual can you not can it not come like here i try and actually like not give people motion sickness and also it's a manual focus lens so i don't know there we go there's the actual bosch sorry about that here, I'll give you a back now. There we go. Sorry about that, everyone. No, they've got a good shot of it in the pan there. It looks great and it tastes lovely. I'm, I am actually really looking forward to a big bowl of that later on. <laughs> Tattooed vegan mum, going back to what we were saying before about um, trick or treaters. We didn't get any last year or the year before or the year before that. Doesn't stop us buying in sweets, though. I get that. I get that. Yeah, get the sweets in just in case. And then, like you said, uh, I think, like we said earlier on in the uh, the live stream today, you can just eat them yourself, can't you? Simple. We've never decorated for Halloween, have we, Brahms? No, I don't think so. No. Like I said, though, if it was, if it was in the UK, if it was a cultural thing, if it was like it was something that communities did and kind of got together and, and really sort of got behind it, I think we'd probably be more inclined to do it. Um, you know, and if we were going to get a handful, even, even if we only got between five and ten trick-or-treaters knocking on the door, and we have had trick-or-treaters in the past, and we have got stuff in for them, haven't we? But I'm going back years. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I just think, like um, a couple of people have said, um, I think the last two or three years, particularly the last two years, I think it's really kiboshed um, something that was growing here in the UK, because uh, as many of you all know, we do, we do have a tendency to to follow in a lot of the American fashions, particularly the youngsters in this country, um, you know. Oh, happy birthday for yesterday, Selena. Happy birthday for yesterday. Um, and yeah, we've, we're actually, I mean, for many of you, you will have seen that we've been lucky lads in that people have sent us a plethora of things to our PO box, which we're still getting through. Um, so we will not be lacking fizzy sweety goodness this wise a while for quite a while um i've even took some to work with me um to, to kind of brighten up my uh, my days now and again when i'm at work i can chobble on a few sweets that have been sent to us from our lovely subscribers so that is that's always a great thing 
without a doubt. What do you think of the new season of FW, FTWD? Uh, what's that? Who's asking that? Um, health Arena. No idea what you're talking about. Fear the Walking Dead. Ah. Uh, we started watching watch it and then we lost dead. We lost our way with it, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, in season two, it was, it was just like movies. The same thing in a different place with different people. Yeah. I'm going to say We're something. We're not watching the new one either, the... Um, the young ones. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to say something a little bit controversial here as, as a Walking Dead fan, and I have been a Walking Dead fan for years... I don't think the appetite's there anymore. No. I think they've 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 I think they may have made a mistake, the team, with growing so big so quickly, doing so many spin-offs. We've still got the films with Rick Grimes supposed to be coming. As a fan of The Walking Dead, I don't know if I've got the appetite for the, the that. stuff that's planned in the yeah, future. I do I, I want to see the Rick Grimes story. I want to know what happened afterwards. afterwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't know if I'm... I haven't got multiple series in me with The Walking Dead. Ten years. You know, it's lucky they've still got Daryl and Carol. Because otherwise, I might have called it a day on The Walking Dead, you know, two seasons ago. But I'm clinging on. Sticking with it. What's your favourite season? Summer. Well, spring and summer can have them both together. Yeah. Spring and summer. Although they've all got their... Um, They've all got their, you know... Qualities. Qualities. They have, haven't they? Um, I'm not keen on winter because I can't stand the thought of animals being out in it. Yeah. Especially when it's snowy and freezing. Yeah, that's true. It just does my head in. That's very true. Very true. <laughs> that's an interesting question and a timely question, Ashley. Um, there may be a mini unboxing... Uh, week after next, I think next weekend is our live, is our mukbang, isn't it? Saturday, Friday, Sunday. Saturday, Friday, Sunday. Saturday, Friday, Sunday. So what comes after Sunday? Friday. Then? Saturday, Friday, Sunday. So yeah, next weekend is our mukbang, and then the weekend <laughs> after that, it happens. I put it down to the fact that I had a bad mountain biking accident. I had to have my brain put back together again. So now and again... Just now and again, I get a brain blank. Only now and again. Five times a year. 50 times a year. <laughs> um, yeah, so maybe a weekend after next weekend, Ashley, we may do a mini unboxing on our chilled, in the living room, new format Friday Live that we do. Miss yeah. Horror Geek, darling, I'm going to address something with you now. I know that you've been following uh, the channel for a long, long time. So why are you saying please do some Christmas shopping calls? When have we not? Think about that. It would be like... For the last three years, we've done loads of Christmas shopping vlogs before Christmas and then loads in the January. We can't not. So of course... We can't not do them. It's, that's like saying, please breathe. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we will. Thanks, love. Hey, dear me. Dear me. Ah, Victoria. Oh, it just jumped. We watched the Dawn of the Dead remake on your recommendation the other day. Excellent. Isn't it good? I bloody love that uh, film. We watched it again recently, didn't we? We did. We did. Stands up. I was going to just watch the first 10 minutes. So he said, no, I'm not doing that. We're watching it. We'll watch the full thing on him. So he didn't say it in that voice, though. Similar. Similar. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 Tracy, I agree, I agree. Like I said, we've, we've both watched it religiously from season one. Um, I just think they've dragged it out a little bit much now, even by my standards. Yeah, we're kind of looking for... Uh... And when we find out that we're not going to actually see it, we're not going to get the end of the of, of the series until next year now. Yeah. It's so it's like, oh, cold. we've got another break, we've got to wait till next year to get the conclusion of the series. Which will be about three episodes or something. I'm not sure how many, maybe, probably more. Probably six, yeah. But, yeah, we'll see, we'll see. There's so much amazing stuff out there um, being created. Some of it under the radar, some of it low budget, independent, some of it massive big budget, 
also some incredible stuff coming out of other parts of the world that are, are not really don't really get the recognition and are not really known for uh, you know cinematic excellence. Metal Kicks asks this: Have you seen the trailer for the new Scream movie? Didn't even know there was one. I had heard that there were. I, did, I had no idea. Yeah, I had heard of it. Although I saw a trailer the other day for a new version of um, Nightmare on Elm Street, and I was like, "Well, when did they remake that?" I know, I don't keep, I don't mm. really pay attention. Well, remakes, I know, so don't even get me started. Terrible, They're talking about, they've signed off and, oh, no, I'm not even going to talk about it. There's films that should not be remade, and there's a couple I've found out about recently that I'm not happy about, just like I wasn't happy about um, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory being remade. Um, that's just my opinion. Should have never been done. I stand by my word. Uh, Helen, that's a very good question. We're going to have a little Christmas tree at Plot 25. There's one there out, outside. You don't know, it's in the top corner. Of course there is. I mean, it's not like perfect, but I think if we're going to do anything, we'll probably dress that up a little yeah. bit. But there's not going to be much happening at the allotment between now and the new season. It's like, it's proper wind down time, as we'll address in next week's allotment vlog, because there's not going to be one this Monday. Yes. Yes, glad you reiterated that just in case anybody missed yeah, it earlier. Yeah, yeah. Um, the vegan vlogger, I'm loving the cocoa milk since watching your vlogs. It's great in a milk warmer, it doesn't curdle. It, it's tasty as well, isn't it? It's, my, it's, it's still our favourite milk. Yeah, it's Do great. Do you know any everything. vegan chocolates good for Christmas gifts? Mm. Uh, Boucher Boucher. Yeah, got the little box in the fridge here from Donna. Boucher Boucher, B double O J A. B double O J A. Booja Booja. You can get them on uh, the Amazon. Oh, I tell you what, we got bought from one of our subscribers. Bloody gorgeous. Vegan baklava. Oh, that was great. As a it? vegan baklava selection box from Amazon. Yeah. Oh, it was incredible. It was so nice. And Anger had one for a birthday. <laughs> gorgeous, it was. Uh, not seen the new trailer for Batman, uh, was put off by Batman versus Superman, and I don't know if I'll ever watch another Batman film ever again. Um, I wasn't even that impressed with the last Batman film, um, to be honest, and I know that's, again, that's controversial, but when they spend the amount of money that they spend on films, and then you see the guns on the cars wobbling, I'm just like... And, and I know it's a tiny thing, but I, I, I can't unsee that yeah. in a multi, multi-million pound film with top world-class actors for, you know, things like that. Does his head in. Does my head in. Does his box in. So with somebody's talking about Christmas trees, did you know there is a Christmas tree company that sells you a Christmas tree, takes it back off you and replants it and does that continually with these Christmas trees until they reach seven foot, then they get retired to a forest. <laughs> Isn't that gorgeous though? I read it on Facebook the other day, I can't remember the name of the company. Yes. No, I can't remember the name of the company, but it is a lovely thing, isn't mm -hmm. it? Uh, shall we uh, slowly start to wrap things up? Yes. Um, I have got, for some of you that are, are aware and some of you that are unaware, I know some of you are aware, um, I have, for the last month or so, been doing Miles for Mind, um, which is a fundraiser. And I'm going to try my very best today to finish my Miles for Mind. I won't be going outside. I'll be getting on the bike in the kitchen. So when we finish this live stream, I've got to get some miles done. So we will be wrapping up shortly um, this this wonderful live. And then, of course, later on, we'll be thoroughly enjoying this wonderful creation. Can't stop lying. Eric agrees. I haven't watched uh, the last few um, Batman films. Uh, we're the same, aren't we? We're very Marvel rather than DC. Yeah. For the most part. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, I'll be honest with you, What I've, we haven't seen Suicide Squad yet, and we haven't seen the sequel. Um, I, the trailers that I've seen for both of those, I'd be like, I'll give them a go. It's DC, but I'll give them a go, because they look a little bit, they look like something different to what DC has done, uh, you know, the DC universe and exploration of all that in the past. So I'd probably be willing to give them a try, although I do appreciate the first Suicide Squad film did get mixed reviews. Yeah. I think the second one was more positively received. 
uh, Jeanette, very soon I'm doing a sort of cupboard video, but I'm just going to do the one. Although, because we've been bought some beautiful crockery over the last few months. All of my plain white crockery, I want to give to a second hand shop now for someone that's starting out, you know, so they can get. Uh, so I've got all that to do as well, but it's mainly one cupboard I'm focusing on. I am going to make a vlog out of it. Um, so you'll see well, that. Well, you've, you've you'll... talked about it enough now, you have to. Oh, I know. you got it. I don't know why I have to, because it's a bloody mess. Yeah. I, can't. I don't know where anything is. I need it all organised properly. Was it was it Wonder Tree? Yes, is that that? Wonder Tree, tree company that replants trees. Wonder with a U, Wonder Tree. So if you fancy looking them up, please do. Thank you for that. Ooh, favourite Marvel film. Uh, Siobhan's at a haunted hotel. How perfect. I hope you have a fabulous time. And I hope there's something exciting, if that's what you're uh, you're after, which I suspect you probably are. Uh, favourite Marvel film. I'll be honest with you. Oh, it's just gone out of my head. There's, there's a lot of good ones. There's a lot of good ones. Logan. Is probably going to be. I've only seen it once. I want to see it again. Um, the the kind of Wolverine. I think it's called Logan. Mm -hmm. Very very different solo story exploring Wolverine backstory. Where is that now? Picard. Uh, Picard. <sighs> Xavier as a as a an old sort of senile guy. Very very different to anything else in the Marvel collection really. And brutal absolutely brutal in places seeing wolverine doing the kind of stuff that you don't get to see him do very often but we all know that he's more than capable of so that stands in my mind what about you avengers endgame was very very good i, I kind of like them all uh, on an on a the first a iron man reasonably equal footing yeah the first really? Iron Man film was excellent. They've all been really good, though, the Marvel films. That's why I'm having trouble. However, my favourite Marvel series is WandaVision. Yeah. I thought it was just brilliant and yeah. so, like, clever and twisted. Very good. Very, very good. Yeah. Indeed. So much good content right, out so there. So we bring this to a close, my love, and then yes. you can do your rest of your time on there. Um, dinner's ready. Yeah, yeah. We'll probably be eating a little bit earlier than normal, won't we? Today. We usually do on a Sunday. Yeah. A little bit earlier. But, uh, yeah. We shall crack on with our day. It's just starting to ease up outside, which hopefully means that once this live is over, I can go out there and, and get our uh, sort of garden out and get our growing uh, growing tent from off the car. Oh, it's not on the car anymore. Has it blown further down the garden? No, it's just fell on the floor at the side of the car. So it's been an absolute That's pleasure, as always. It's That's always great to hear, Ryan. Thank you. Oh, nice one. Yeah, it's um, it's always a pleasure to be here. It's always a pleasure to sit next to my husband whilst he's cooking delightful things in the kitchen. Um, that's always a pleasure, and it's always fabulous to connect with the community. All you wonderful people. Thumbs up. And we hope you. that uh, what you, because, you know, it was only the start of the video and it was done. It was like, it's pretty quick soup to make, really, once it's on the pot. Yeah. Doing its, its 20 minutes yeah. simmer. Prep, prep all your veg like you did. But absolutely mm -hmm. worth making. Honestly, just absolutely beautiful. So if you get a chance to uh, try it out, do do. Um, do do. Sorry. Yeah, all of that. Thank you. Thank all of you. Eric, that's a beautiful way to end. Much love all. Let someone you love know it. Take no one for granted. Absolutely good, sir. And thank you for sharing your beautiful thoughts with us. I mm. uh, love you, mister. Love you. Um, love you, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you again very soon. And until then, please be excellent to yourselves and each other. Bye, loves.